Good morning, good morning. I hope you're all really well. Um, I just wanted to probably be a little bit vulnerable because a lot of you see me um, as I generally am and that's like pretty happy, pretty upbeat. Um, but what happens when you work through your shit, which I've done and I help other people do and it's freaking amazing, more stuff can come up that you didn't see coming and you've got to know how to deal with that because sometimes when you actually start being good to yourself and giving yourself the time and the love and the appreciation you need and you've worked through some of these blocks that have been there for so long you know if you're working through a big belief system and network of you know, your, your network in your brain just needs to change and your body will have a reaction so case in point here i've been working through loads of stuff i'm working with an amazing coach susie um and also denise ddt who does um things to release people's money blocks and things um because i uh love what i do um and i earn a living from it and i'm really proud of that um i do um but you know it's still a bit oh i want to help people am i allowed to make money from helping people <laughs> kind of thing so um tap 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 on that <laughs> um but you know some days are really hard and i've just um i um if you know probably that I recently well about a year ago broke up with my husband in the middle of COVID which was a bit a bit crap um and so I'm sort of on my own with with the kids which is fine but it does leave very little room for being overly emotional I don't mind crying in front of my kids we all know it's you know a way of releasing emotions and it's super cool um but literally on my way back from the school run just screaming in the car it's pretty awesome um crying screaming Rah! um gosh thank goodness the, the music was off <laughs> um but just so when when you are working through your stuff it can be it, it can then bring up other stuff that can emotions that maybe you haven't felt before you don't really understand and that can be really tough so if you are on a kind of voyage of self-discovery and you're doing loads of tapping whether with me or with whatever because the, the tapping is amazing it is very quick that's the one thing and what can happen with tapping because it is so quick to get to the root of the problem and it fixes things really quickly you then your body has and your mind has to catch up with what's happened so when you do obliterate your negative belief systems your body and mind can just go Whoa. And just need to like go to ground for for a little bit, not for long. Just um, and so what's happening with me is I've I've done so much work with other people, and I've really put out some amazing stuff um, that I never thought I'd actually do. So I've become across these huge blocks, thinking, "Oh my god, they're good enough? I'm not good enough blocks." Yada yada. We've all got them. Well, mine um, are that um, I'm never going to be good enough, and or never going to be enough and um that people will permanently judge me because i'm not enough so they're the blocks that they're the big beliefs that i dealt with um you know which were, inc were incredibly powerful to, to get rid of but they do eke back when you start pushing yourself to the next level those blocks do come back what they say is um new level new devil but i um as ddt denise De De deffield thomas would say new level same devil it comes back and you have to rework on it so if you are working on your shit if you are wanting to ditch it get rid of it um and you're doing it with me or with somebody else just remember that it will it takes time for your body to catch up so be good to yourself don't slip into the self-sabotaging behaviors that can happen um for example don't start eating the foods you know make you feel shit don't start staying up late and if you need your sleep don't start staying up late and and keeping yourself up because what will happen is your body will be trying to get back to feeling crap sometimes so make sure that you recognize that, that when you're feeling better, you don't start sabotaging yourself because when you raise your limit of what happiness and what you can achieve, you're, you're not used to it. Your brain, your body, your universe isn't used to it. It will, you, you will literally try and bring yourself back to heal. So be aware of that. Um, it's the upper limit problem. Uh, Gay Hendricks um, penned it. Oh, look at the sunshine. Oh my goodness, the sun's shining. Um, the upper limit problem as it's been penned by Gay Hendricks. It's really appropriate that we get to a certain point and then we don't 
we um, we then stop, um, or, or we sabotage some other part of our life. So we we can't we can we, we can only fill up our our um, our circle. So we've got a circle of a cup we can fill. And once it's filled, if we put more in, something has to go. So we need to work on widening our vessel of how much good we can have in our life. Anyway, I'm working on that right now, and as much as um, as much as I would like to say that you know, I, I, when I upgrade, I also I I need to oh, I need to go to see my coach and help get sorted out and stuff as well. So don't worry when things seem like they dip. It's your body adjusting, and it's an opportunity to. Um, work with the self-sabotage that might be happening as well so be really kind to yourself monitor what you're doing to yourself how you're talking to yourself what you're eating what you're doing that could be sabotaging the good stuff that's coming and um, again please get in touch if you want more help or advice on this issue um, I've got an amazing like program you can get into um, it's super oh hang on don't do that I start fiddling. <laughs> um, I've got the Ditch Your Shit, which also includes the happiness tools for kids at the moment as well as part of it. So you've got all the tools for grown ups and then some really epic tools for kids to find their happy places. Um, and that's there as well. If you want that, that's really cool. Um, and I work really hard on that. Um, anyway, bye for now. Have a great day and uh, get, be in touch. And remember, if you need any help working through the, the difficult times after you've had really great responses and it's tricky afterwards just reach out share let me know how you're getting on and i'll see what i can do to help my, my heart to yours guys okay